Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Comic Getting. Uh, we've got a toy review here for you. Actually, we're going to have about three of them over the next uh, few weeks here. Uh, the first one we're going to do here, they're all going to be He Man Master Universe Classics figures. So, the first one we're going to do here is the Battle Armor He Man. Um, everybody remembers that uh, the original vintage figure it was such a cool. Um, He-Man figure it was like almost everybody's uh, most played with He-Man figures um, because the middle had an action feature to where when you tapped it, it would have a dent in it, similar to this. And if you tapped it again, it would spin around and you'd get a third damage on it. So what Masters of the Universe Classics uh, did, Maddie Collector did, is they captured that feel and that overall look of the figure, um, but they did take away the action feature. But they kind of did something neat to honor it, and I'll go over that here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and go over uh, the basics here of the figure, the articulation mostly. So here we have uh, your standard Masters of the Universe buck here. Uh, the head moves up and down, can left, left and right, left and right, up and down, side to side, all the way around, it's on a ball joint. The arms can go out, um, you can move them up, down, swivel at the bicep, swivel at the wrist, they will bend at the elbow. Um, we have waist articulation, which is really tight on this one. Um, my skeletal was the same one. I was almost afraid. Uh, legs can go out. Uh, it is the so more softer loincloth. They can go forward, backward, bend at the knees. Uh, there, there is a uh, swivel here at the cup. And of course, the middle and the legs, the feet can they're, uh, bend. And there's no real swivel to them. So, so there you go. Um, now... I'll go ahead and go over the accessories real quick, because those are part of the features of the figure. Uh, He-Man, just like the original vintage battle armor He-Man, came with only one accessory, and that was his battle axe. He did not come with the standard power sword or shield. Something Now, the other accessories he comes with, as I showed before, are these two extra chest pieces. Because like I said, the original had the action feature where if you tapped it, it would change. Here's how this differs. First, you're going to have to undo his battle, his armor here. And it just clips off. Kind of like, kind of like so. Now, the only thing about this I don't like is it's the more harder plastic. Unlike the other armors that uh, we've had to deal with in the line. So, that just comes right off like that. And as you can see, it's painted silver to match the uh, armor, so it doesn't look funny at the waist. So now what we do is we pop out the middle here. It just snaps right off. And you can replace it with any of the other pieces. Just fit it in, and it should snap right in. Make sure I have the right... There we go. Well, I did have it right. Give me a moment. I'll just do it right here. There we go. Nope. <laughs> it's not this hard. It's because I'm doing it at a weird angle. There we go. Now we're in. See, now it's it's in there. So then you just take it and you place it back on the, on the figure. Place it, just arm it back on. Snap it in place. And now he has the battle damage. So, and you can do that also with the other one. And of course you can always replace it back with the original good version here. So, as cool as it was that they honored that feature, as you can see, it was kind of a pain to snap it off and then snap back in. And if you want to do another damage, you have to do the same thing. 
So it would have been kind of nice, neat had, um, had they actually just kept that particular action feature. I know Maddie Collector uh, wasn't really keen on doing action features with her figures, especially early in the line. Uh, but that is one action feature I think this one could have benefited from keeping. So, but like I said, he does come with the action. And it is pretty much the same action that came with He-Man, uh, the, the standard He-Man figure. And that could fit in either of his hands. And there you go. Now he's ready to face Battle Armor Skeletor, which is in another review. So, so there you have it, my comic and friends. Battle Armor He-Man. Overall, a really cool figure. They did update the armor a little bit here. Um, the paint job's pretty good. My only issue is having to snap on and off the armor and then the uh, various chest pieces. But it was really cool also that uh, they did include that option to do that, to stay in line with the vintage. So, all right. Um, you can purchase, you know, like I said, it's been a few years since this guy came out. So if you want him, you're going to have to buy him on the second market, such as uh, eBay. Um, not sure exactly how much he goes for. Um, I purchased him and uh, the other two I'm doing through a trade. So, um, but he is out there. He is available and he's a relatively cool figure. And I, of course, when I display him, I prefer to display him with the... Uh, non-damaged chest piece. Alright, see you on the next review.